Hey, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Gumbo Man Pat, thanks for the 12 months of subbing. Joey Papa Boy 8, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Happy October. Miss G's Crafties, happy Blur's Day. Alan, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon for uh, my international followers <laughs> and viewers. Like JVK. Listen to the podcast on my commute this morning. Yeah, I think we should talk about that. I think we should talk about the podcast and my G2 Love Fest. Not really. The G2 is a good pen, chat. I can't get in too much trouble. I don't want to talk bad about the G2. Don't make me talk bad about the G2. I, I, I refuse to talk bad about the G2. It's a good pen. <clears throat> But we can talk about we can talk about that for a second. But how are y'all doing this morning? Actually, I have some follow up. I have some real time follow up to the uh, to yesterday's show. <clears throat> just just for the record, let the record show. G two is fine. I love the .38 G2, G .38 G2, and the 1.0 G2. The uh, the ones in the middle are not my favorites. <clears throat> You're still a few weeks behind. Well, listen to Gina's episode, then listen to this episode, and you can you can skip the ones in between. Although I think there was only one, one or two in between. <laughs> I liked yesterday's episode. It was fun. We don't always talk about the standard pens, but you know. I wouldn't want to use the 1.0 to take notes, right? It's too wide for that. But like, if you have a specific use case for the 1.0, especially in like drawing and, and doing things like that, it works. Like, I wouldn't want to like take notes or write in my notebook with the 1.0. There's that. I wouldn't like that. <clears throat> so, um, oh, okay. I know what I was going to talk about. Um, so a couple hours after the show yesterday, Pentel reached out to me. <laughs> uh, do I have the email? Uh, let me, let me check this out. Adidas ad. Interesting. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so Pentel, <laughs> Pentel reached out to me after the show. Let me see. I'm not going to read the email, but I want to get what they told me right. Cause I thought it was interesting. <clears throat> Jesse Rain, 18 months. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Jesse. Hope you're doing well. I hope it's not blizzard situations yet. I have lots of UPSs coming. You know what's helpful? You talking on my stream. So what's up? Come here. Now that you've interrupted, come here. Come on. <laughs> Tyler's at Tyler's at home homeschooling. Audio sound fuzzy to anyone else? Y'all let me know. If you have any issues, please tell me. I'd be curious. It's probably Oscar. He's <laughs> I have the door open today because this room gets uh warm when it's when the um when the door's shut, even if it's cool outside. Like I have the windows open and the door open so we can at least um we can at least uh you know, get some airflow through here. So, whoops. So that was Tyler. Tyler's home for the next two weeks doing uh, school. So it's been a it's been a challenge. It's been fun. It's been good times. So yeah, there you go. Sorry, my phone is blowing up. All right, so what did Pentel say? Oh, um, they're working on making a narrower barrel for the Pentel. That was my main comment yesterday about the Energel and how much I loved the Energel refill, but the barrel I thought was just a hair wide compared to like the G2 and the Signo. 
Um, so they sent me an email yesterday saying next year the plan is to come out with a um, smaller barrel for the Energel line, and they're going to send me some samples. So I just got to reply back and um, <clears throat> get some samples over. But um, it'll be coming next year, and it's already in the works. So it must be a thing that, that they're aware of, right? Like it's not, not like a random thing for me to say. Like that's the – um, the one thing people will say sometimes about the inner gel is that, hey, that barrel is a little bit wide. Um, and usually that's okay with the 0.7s. Like Love Loveless is saying, the finer you get, I think the narrower barrel you, that you need. Like, I, that's just a, I don't know if that's really specific to me. I think that's kind of a general statement, but not always, you know. Um, but... I, I do think the finer you get, you just have smaller motions and having a wider barrel, I think just causes more hand strain. So being able to get like a 0.5 inner gel with a slightly skinnier diameter barrel, I think is great. Like the, um, the Pentel inner gel Euro needle, are any of y'all familiar with that pen? If they did the Intel, Intel, Pentel, Energel Euro needle. They make that in 0.35, and that's a narrower barrel capped Energel. It is the perfect Energel, but they don't um, they don't put that one on the shelf. That one you have to import. You get that one from Jet Pens, but that that is the best Energel. Um, but that's it. Finer tips are annoyingly hard to find across the board. Yeah, that's the that's what the whole reason why I um, um, started this blog. On um, what planet is the Euro needle really a 0.35? It's great, but no way it's sized correctly. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Um, it's more like a four. It's definitely smaller than a five. I think head full of ideas. Like I'd buy that it's a four, maybe not a three point five. But remember, Pentel also makes the Sleechy. So they're fine going down to 0.25s, and their 0.25 Sleechies are legit 0.25s. And remember, that's also tip size, right? So the line width is, is different. So, you know, depending on the ink, the, the ink of the, the inner gel is, is reasonably wet it flows pretty well so maybe it's you know microscopically larger than a um a drier 0.35 like you know the um the uniball edgelord is a 0.28 but since it's a ballpoint refill it's going to write more like a 0.2 or 0.18 line you know when you're writing with it i'll show you my writing here put up that picture yesterday um <clears throat> see here so like it's it's the uniball edge i just was being internetty this morning it's the uniball edge so this is let's see if this will even focus not really but you can see how small this writing is so small it doesn't even want to focus on here no just me just me so that's an a5 page with a 0.28 refill like this is the <laughs> this is the size of the sailor king of pen nib versus the writing on this page like you can see, it's pretty tiny. So, and this is a pen like I wouldn't recommend to anybody, right? Like that's the one, that's the one that I like. Um, anytime I've ever recommended the Jetstream 0.5, I, it usually goes bad, it usually goes poorly. I try to get people off of the, the finer Jetstreams. The Jetstreams you wanna start at 0.7, uh, unless you're looking for microscopic and a little bit scratchier writing experience, writing performance. <clears throat> so 
So I think, yeah, I think the Jetstream 05 is phenomenal. I'm shocked that they went down to 0.28. But those are pens that I I never recommend unless you tell me that you're into like something crazy like this. Right? You really got to get in there fine. Yeah, that's also why I like the Zebra Sarasa clip. It's a little feedbacky. And that's the one pen I didn't I put in my notes yesterday right there it says Zebra Sarasa. That's the one pen that I um that I have to tell people about on the store shelf. The Zebra Sarasa is not that good. Like I would choose the G2 over the Zebra Sarasa. The Zebra Sarasa push clip is a different animal. The one you get from places like jet pens and Japanese importers things like that. Mark says, I ordered a bunch of 0.28 refills from Jet Pens for the high-tech C. Man, they are needle point fine and scratchy. The 0.25 high-tech Cs are they're my least favorite. Well, I'm going to say that because I don't like the fives. The 0.3 high-tech C is the best for me. Pen naming is way too hard. They make it hard on themselves. Like the Zebra Sarasa that is sold in the US and the Zebra Sarasa push clip, they don't look anything alike. Like you could name those two different things and people wouldn't confuse them. But I think they just use Sarasa for their gel ink lineup and then say like, okay, you know, this one has the funky clip, so we'll call it the push clip. Um, but they don't put in the, they don't even use the same refills for those. The ones in the regular Zebra Z-Motion was already taken. That's pretty funny. That is a good one. <clears throat> good morning, Brooks. Oh, yeah. I remember that time where I said I was going to send Brooks a picture of a thing that I owed him. I had a rough day yesterday. I just wasn't feeling good yesterday. I'm finally feeling back to normal today. Just um, getting, um, getting past these allergies. Fall allergy season has gotten to be worse than spring for me. So I'm feeling better. Um, is the Signo 207 and the Signo DX two different pens? Yes. Two different pens, different refills. Um, equally high quality, but the DX writes a little bit cleaner, sharper line. And you can get it finer um, with the DX. I don't think I've ever found a DX on the shelf. I've only ever seen them at like a big box office supply re retailer. And they only come in the like the 10 pack of rainbow colors. You can't just pick up like two or three black DX, 0.38 DXs, which I, I don't understand. Like their introduction to this market was a rainbow pack that costs like $30. That was my argument yesterday on the podcast. No one's really, people aren't going to experiment with a purchase like that, right? That's a, that's a high barrier to entry to say, hey, let's try the DX and see if it's any good. See if I like it, then I'll keep buying some. Then I'll buy the rainbow pack. But to to get the like legit, just let me, let me try the DX and see how it compares to the other ones. You, you got to order them through other sources like Amazon, Jet Pens, you know, and a few other places. Spoke Pen. <laughs> yeah, normal people won't. Right, they're never just gonna show up. Like that's never gonna hit any office supply budget. I recommend the Muji, Muji Gel Ink Extra Fine Ballpoint Pen point twenty five. They have a uh, point twenty five point two five ballpoint. I haven't seen that. They have a point two five gel because it's the Pentel Sleechy, but I've never seen a point two five ballpoint at Muji. So Muji uses um, Uniball, Zebra, and Pentel refills for their gel ink pens. That's why people love them so much. They're awesome. Jetstream white label. Jetstream doesn't make a 0.25. They make a 0.28 and a 0.38 and a 0.5. And then on up. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, it's a nice hex barrel, I think. That's the, that's a gel refill. That's a Pentel Slitchy. I have one. I bought one purposely for that. It's a 0.25 gel ink pen, and it's the Pentel Slitchy refill. 
Yep, I have that exact pen because it comes in a hex barrel. The hex barrel is the, the color of the ink, right? Like I have a turquoise blue one because the Sleechy comes in a bunch of colors. So yeah, it's not a ballpoint, it's a gel. It's the Pentel Sleechy refill, which is fantastic. That's the best 0.25 gel ink refill. My pen is currently writing blue black ish because I was lazy and didn't wash all the black out of the feed before adding a converter full of blue. It's making me want to buy a real blue black ink next. That's how you do it. This, um, I have the Sailor Menyo Akibi, which is that kind of magenta y pink in here. And it's found something in the feed where I thought uh, that I've cleaned it very, very well. So when I first start writing with it it picks up a little bit of blue darkness in there so it makes it like this dark purpley thing which is not bad but it, it cleans out uh, cleans out pretty good pretty well <clears throat> so I've been writing um, with this guy today the ombre and with my fast writing pace I'm not super happy with the 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 clicky clack up here in the tip, right? It's a little bit spaced. So I was gonna look today. Sorry, you can't see that. Not that you'd be able to see the the spacing anyway. Um, I love this pen. I like this refill. So what is this refill? So this is like a Parker style gel refill, that Kaveco. I wonder if they get Schmidt to make these for them. So yeah, I'll be, uh, well, I'll just put the little O-rings that we use for the spoke refills that we put on the jet streams. And that uh, that helps with that. It does look very Schmitty, Schmitty. I could just put the jet stream in here, but I like this one because it's gel something different. I don't have many gel refills like this, like Monteverde. This is a G2 gel ceramic roller 0.7 millimeter. Like it's a good refill made in Japan, but Kaveco branded. So like the jet stream would fit in here that we use for the spoke. But yeah, you can definitely feel the, the spacing in the tip is not great. Like, the faster you write with it, when I or when I write um, with my print style, you're you're taking the pen off the paper a lot, right? So you definitely get a click clack. Whereas if you were um, writing in cursive, you you don't get that. So it was bugging me a little bit this morning, but I love that pen. It's a cool pen. <clears throat> One dog night, thirteen months. Thank you. And oh, added a reminder for your ombre dog sticker. Let me see if I have it right here. I'll get it out. So I'll remember to put it with the thing. Yeah, I got it. Look at that. Good timing. There it is. Roof. There you go. That's going to Jackie. So we'll leave that out so I'll remember. Did you see my mug? Yeah, that's a great sticker. So we'll leave that out so I don't forget. But you can ask Jonathan how that goes. You'll just have to repeat it, but yell at me. But no, that was perfect timing because I just, sorry, that was loud. Because I just got that out this morning to write with. <clears throat> I've been happy with my writing experiment this week. Wow. That pen smudges. How did that smudge? So I got a smudge on my page. But it's not on my hand. And it's not on the other paper. This gel ink pen, this gel ink refill smudgy somehow that is a little bit odd all right as you can tell i don't have a lot to talk about today i can i can do some envelopes wouldn't that be thrilling <laughs> um i do finally have some shipments on the way which is cool like i mentioned on tuesday i didn't think they'd be here in time but i just got notifications yesterday of some cool stuff coming in um, and I'm going to be, it's about that time of year where I start doing the planner giveaways. So I have several planners coming that I'll just give away like on Tuesdays. I gave away, you know, Hobonichi's, Jibin Techos, Techos, and a few others. I think I have a Midori coming. I have a Hobonichi coming. 
and at least one other one. So we're gonna check those out and see what they look like and I'll give them away coming up. I have the shown design giveaway going on um, this week. I think I, I think I should probably like do some uh, do some envelopes while we're here, right? Because I don't have too much for y'all today. Y'all have anything for me? <laughs> oh, did the package I sent you arrive intact? Yes, but I haven't opened it. What was it? I think you told me what it was, but it's sitting on the counter in there. I do have it. I mean, it's sitting on my desk in the other room, but I haven't opened it yet. I've been feeling like really rotten, so I have just like mail piling up on my desk because I haven't felt like opening it opening any of it but today today I'm feeling good finally <clears throat> and I think you told me what it was but I can't remember now it's a glitter bomb I'll wait till Elizabeth gets home she likes the glitter bombs all right let's see if we can get some of these done Oh, yeah, that's right. You told me that. Uh, this. Yay, chips. <clears throat> Big bags of chips. We already kerthunked all the envelopes, so I have like a whole stack of envelopes ready to roll. Still using this brush pen. Let's see if my G drive is working. My drive trash is changing. That's interesting wording, uh, G drive. My drive trash is changing. Cool, man. Trashy. All right, we did do, we did update this correctly. Oh, man. It keeps getting more and more. That's good. Where's the dip? I need some dip. What is your favorite dip? Go. Let's talk dips, chat. You know, I like a good hummus. I like a good French onion. Um, cheese dip. My daughter's a big fan of the cheese dip. What is even happening here? <clears throat> Skull cherry. <laughs> Fresh made guac. You might win on that one. Lay's Creamy Rancher Buffalo. I am too, I mean, I grew up in the South. What do you expect? And I, all my roommates used to dip in college. I never did. Stuff's gross. Like when you're in the South, that's what you think about. But I would just get their cans and just practice. So yeah, <laughs> I've never dipped in my life. Like, but no, I, I'm good at this though. <laughs> made a homemade shrimp mousse type thing oof yeah that's a good one yeah my mom used to make a killer shrimp dip <clears throat> all right so we got I, I mentioned last week when i was wrapping up these uh oh the uh, now that i'm on dips did anyone say like the uh yeah foolish fox said it and patrick said it and it's not surprising me. Uh, the the buffalo chicken dip is something you get at every party here, like around our area. Like if you're going to a party, there's always going to be a buffalo chicken dip. Someone's making that. <clears throat> Flavored hummus upsets me. I don't think I've ever. I I don't like. Yeah, I like regular hummus, like just plain. Um. So I mentioned to y'all when I was doing these last week, sometimes people don't put their name on the address here when I'm sending their chips. So it just starts with the address. So I always put resident pen addict on there. So someone's getting that. We had a less saucy version of buffalo chicken and wraps for dinner last night. Mm, that sounds good. Y'all are making me, I shouldn't have started this. Although I ate a good breakfast this morning. I don't always eat a good breakfast. Sam's Club carries a pretty good buffalo chicken dip. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, someone in California is getting the resident pen addict. I feel like we need music this morning. I'm feeling musically, musicy, musicy. It's like too quiet in my house this morning. I didn't listen to any tunes this morning. I can hear the birds chirping outside, which is cool, but you know, it's feeling quiet. I'm a background. Do y'all work with the background noise? Yes or no? <clears throat> I have the Witcher 3 game soundtrack playing in the background. What other game soundtracks do you like? Play some Afro Cuban? That would be awesome. I'm the background noise. I'm just feeling I'm feeling like I'm I'm letting y'all down a little bit today. I'm feeling a little bit uh low key, even though I'm feeling the best I've felt in like a week. Um I'm the background noise. Sometimes YouTube vids, background panatic stream. So I shouldn't be dropping these in there. Sorry, headphone people. I had to sneak one in on you. Grim Fandango has an awesome background sound soundtrack. I've got a music topic for you. I posted this on Slack earlier. I need monster songs that are appropriate for a toddler to make a playlist for Luna. Okay, I'd have to think about that. So yeah, like if I'm, so like I'll sit here and work a lot and I'll usually have my laptop here, even though I'm sitting in front of a computer, I'll have my laptop here, then like I'll have music playing or like a YouTube video going. Um, I cannot work in quiet um, ever since high school. I couldn't study in quiet. Um, I can't work in quiet. I have to just have something going on. Can't find that Muji on sale anywhere, but here's the product picks. If I remember, I'll grab mine. I bought the bl a blue one and a pink one. Yeah, that's a Pentel Sleechy refill. 100%. That's why I bought that pen. So I have a blue one, like a turquoise and a pink one. I'll see if I can break them out for next week. But that's the Pentel Sleechy 0.25 gel refill. And they're really, really good. I use a lot of YouTube concentration relaxation with nature sounds. I need to pick, I need to check those out. People, I've saved some links. Like uh, I like the ocean sounds. Um, and I've saved some links where someone will have like an eight hour stream of the sound, but I, I haven't listened to, I haven't been listening to them. But yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm not sure Werewolves of London is a great kid song. <laughs> But I mean, that's one of my favorite songs, but <laughs> that's not the first one that comes into mind is let, let me put a, uh, let me put in there for, uh, for my kids. Um, are the retro 51 tornadoes, proprietary refills. No, it's the Schmidt P 81, 26 and 27 refill. And, um, you can fit like Parker style refills. Um, for those, like people will hack in inner gel refills. I think Zebra Sarasa refills people will hack in. They are, you can get Monteverde gel refills that fit that. So you can get around using other refills in the Retro 51. I use um, the Oto Flash Dry sometimes, which is a 0.5 gel needle, and there's no hacking involved. Um, you just, you know, buy that refill and, and put it in there. How are the Monteverdi gel ink refills? I haven't done enough testing of them. I think people generally like them and recommend them. I've got a Hack Pilot juice refill on my Retro 51. Yeah, so with the Retro 51, with that Schmidt refill, you can fit lots of different things. Some uh, pop in there with no modification. Some you can hack a little bit to get them in there um, in, in general. So, you know, you have some good options if you don't like the Retro 51 refill. So yeah, the one I keep on my desk that's not the Schmidt is the Oto Flash Dry. Because that's a good... It's hard to get a 0.5 refill in those styles of refills. So a 0.5 gel refill, even though it's needle and it's not the most aesthetic looking, it's really, really great. So yeah, Oto is my favorite refill. Tony, 
for as much as he drives me up the wall, he recommended that one to me, and he was right. So Tony was right. I hate to give that guy credit. Monteverdi by far has the most colors. What are some hacks to fit non-conforming refills? Uh, I don't, I don't have any links. I don't know if Anna has done some links, but I know the Energel and the Sarasa clip, and then Sarah was just saying the um, the Pilot Juice, which means the G2s would fit too. I'm always right. People need to understand this. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-oh, what did, what did Velociraptor say? Anna has a great refill guide. I didn't know if she had, like, the Retro 51 hack specifics. I keep that refill guide in a shortcut on my laptop. I use it so much. Monteverdi's got a bit feedbacky over time. Hmm. Interesting. I need to try the... Um, try that a little bit more. I have one laying around. I think I got an orange one to test, and I I just haven't taken it out of the package yet. <clears throat> but I will I will pay attention to that. See how they handle over time. So yeah, anything y'all want to talk about today, fire it up in the chat. <laughs> refill guide by far the most visited post easily. That's a really good refill. I'm mean, really good refill. Really good guide. Ask the desk retro 51 refills. There you go. Sup, Praxis. Sup. <laughs> oh no. I'm about to send a chip to someone. Someone not far from me. Oh, and he filled it out twice. Mark Backus. Mm -mm -mm. Double dip it. Double dipped your chip. Oh, there we go. We talked about dips. Now we got to talk about double dippers. Uh oh. Tony strikes me as a double dipper. Not going to lie. I mean, if there's anyone in chat that I would pin pin that on, it'd be Tony. <clears throat> you think Mark's awesome enough to warrant two chips? That's actually legitimately fair. <laughs> Always double. Oh, Oscar. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It hit below 60 today down in Florida. Yeah, we're going to get that um, the next few days. Like, it's going to be up to 80 today, but... It's been cooler, but we're gonna get down into the 40s in the next couple of days. My dip is mine. I have my own pot and double dip to my heart's content. That's pretty funny. <laughs> mm. Jax, yeah, so, yeah, like today, it was cool yesterday, warmer today, then we're gonna get, get some good fall weather going here, which I always love. <clears throat> so yeah. Except my allergies don't love, so.
Florida strong in the chat. I love it. Can you send the cooler weather to us in California? Hundreds again. Golly. Yeah, I've definitely broken out the hoodies the last couple days. Don't need it today. Yeah, 65 is parka weather in Florida. It's funny how the even in even in Georgia, like the first hint of cold like freezes people out. Then by midwinter they're not like like freaking out over the cold, but like when it goes from 90 to 60 in a couple days, parkas everywhere. It's like, "Oh, it's freezing." You know, like we were at a soccer game Tuesday night and it was like parka blanket central. <laughs> Oh, man. We have... Oh, chat. We have a UK address winner right here. I'm going to count the characters in this address. All right. Ninety. Ninety characters in this address. <laughs> Golly. I think that's the longest one on this page. <laughs> I just now noticed it. <laughs> I need to I need to figure this I need to plan this layout in my head. <laughs> this is the one with like the address and then the place name, but then like a double dip on the place name before you even get to the city. Like this has a whole extra extra line. No of any copper colored Parker style refills. The only guess would be check and see what Monteverde does. They're the only ones who do um, any good color inks in Parker style refills. Um, Monteverde roller. I forget what they call it. So they just call it Jar Jar Roller. Um, it even has a Shire in it. It has a Shire. Yeah. House name Longstreet Longtown Shire Zip. Um, house name. Longtown Shire. So, yeah, pretty accurate there, Foolish Fox. <laughs> plus name, plus zip, plus country. Oh, you got zip, plus country, yeah. Nah, I don't need the, I don't need the shorter version. We're just going to go for it. I'm just going to have to start way over here. I mean, this is every assumption ever about British addresses. It has all the things. I did pretty good. My space spacing was pretty good on this one. Oh, and I didn't spell out United Kingdom, so it's actually probably more than 90. I just did UK, but I like to write it out. So it's over 90. There you go. Pretty cool. I'd show it to you, but I'm not... <clears throat> Fisher Space Pins had metallic ink refills, really? Yeah, I just usually don't get the Shires. 
foolish fox maybe like if they're more in like the big cities you're not getting like the side cities i don't know <clears throat> st dupont do an orange parker style refill i haven't tried any of the orange ones <laughs> Down upon river that's totally this one is uh on the hill oh is uh is canine play in here I don't need them to answer this question, but I know they can answer. But I think y'all can. Someone else in here can answer it too. I have a stamp question. I need to get it out. I forget what this one's called because I need to order some more. <sighs> Let me grab them real quick. All right, Sarah, go handle your testy clients. So this stamp, I did find my stamp, so I got out those other ones the other day. <clears throat> so is the um, is the COVID stamp? Is this international letter? Like, what are we calling this? International forever. Like if I need to buy some more of these. So this is what I use for these to send internationally. Global, but yeah, but is it letter? Like it's not like additional ounce. Global, because I have these expensive ones that I use for notebooks. It's like I have these that I use for the notebooks, right? Because they're heavier. Right? But this one's global letter okay that's what i was thinking it's nothing special it's just like the global letter and then this one's like global added weight type of thing the two dollar stamp okay it's been a while since i bought them so i needed to figure out what it was thank you global chrysanthemum what about this have you gotten to try any of the silly high gsm cosmo light papers i haven't um, they look pretty cool. I would be into those. I have the um, one ounce international. Okay. I have the uh, I have some of the samples of the Cosmo Light laying around. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank y'all. I don't know why that was like boggling my mind. The old one before the chrysanthemum. There's the green one. I think it was succulents. I think it was a succulent. It was green. One fifteen GSM Cosmo Light is crazy. Yeah, I need to try them. Yeah, I ran out of the succulents and then bought the the COVID the the COVID ones. Besides Conant and Ranga, do you know any makers making around the Bach eight size nib unit? You haven't missed anything, jerkface. I've been pretty chill today. Pretty just just hanging out, writing some letters. Who just did the uh who just did another big Bach? Montegrappa? Leonardo, Leonardo. It was Leonardo. Rich Dix, thanks for the bits. I love the the puppy dog. Moleskin 100 GSM paper is fountain pen friendly. The best Moleskin paper is their sketchbook paper. I thought Dana Trio was more in housey. I legit don't know. But it's the new Leonardo with the big nib. That's also in gold. Man, my phone is blowing up. Caspide. The Caspide is really, really pretty. Or a cup side, you know, if you're here. 
If you can pack a dip, it, you can call it cup side. Whoa. Saved that misspelling chat. Saved it. <laughs> Is there such a thing as a number eight steel nib? I'm with you, foolish fox. I'm I am off the 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 pin buying train right now. I mean, that's the biggest jinx is saying it out loud. That just means there's something gonna be um, bought soon, but. Frank and Kristoff's will get you. That's for sure. Oh, you missed. It. We were doing the, we were doing the, the thing earlier. So, that's what you missed. <laughs> that's the conversation you missed, jerk face. So, like I said, you didn't miss nothing. Internet can't handle streaming this week for some reason. It's all those kids homeschooling, all that virtual learning going on, taking up all the internets. I saw a tweet from one of my baseball follows what did it say this morning is was a very typical um like i was talking about yesterday was the uh like one of the biggest uh baseball season days yesterday where's i'll never find this tweet but it's basically like you know the child complaining that they can't get into their Zoom meeting because, you know, the internet's not working and the dad's like, well, I'm only streaming five baseball games. Like, what's the problem? <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's the best part about the Frank and Kristoffs. If you like them, reasonably priced. Not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but, but that's how they get you. Get you. But they're good. That's why I like them. I just like them because I get the, uh, um, oh, Gumbo Man Pat, did you watch that Braves game yesterday? Sir Jerkface, I'm thumbs up on three games as long as I never see a one game play in series again. My biggest problem is one game play in series. You have to have a minimum of three. I prefer five for first rounds. I understand why, especially this year, if we have like a whole extra round. But yeah, the Braves game yesterday was egregious. Um, it was consistently egregious. Praxis, this is the strangest pen chat ever. Because I didn't have a specific topic to cover today. So we're just kind of all over the place. <laughs> and I'm doing some work <laughs> as we're talking. So next week, I hope to have a more focused pen chat. Because we'll talk about a bunch of... Hopefully, I'm getting a bunch of new products in over the weekend. Um, so yeah, this is the strangest pen chat. But if you have uh, if you have pen questions, let me know. <gasps> yeah, I want seven all the time. I don't mind five for the wild card rounds. I don't love three, but I hate one. The play in games are the stupidest. That it, it's just not fair. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, Gumbo Man Pat, they were, um, it was bad um, behind the plate yesterday. And I forget who it was. I can't remember if it was one of the traditionally bad ones or not. I'm blanking. But it was all the way through the end of the game. Like they were just consistently, it, it wasn't like they were off and then corrected. It was just bad all day ended up being like a five-hour game almost <clears throat> who is doing what challenge for this month that braves game got a little silly it did it did i'll admit that all right so let's talk about um monthly challenges for october it's traditionally been inktober right that's the the og a um, lot of questions surrounding inktober now so you should do your reading up on Inktober before you decide to participate. And a lot of people are choosing to do other things besides Inktober 
for those reasons. I'll let you research that on your own. I don't want to get into it here. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Arttober just as a general challenge. What uh, what are y'all doing? Anyone picking up any particular things this month? Um, I can. I will never. I'm not going to say I'm never going to do a challenge, but that's really not my thing. Like it's been hard enough for me to like journal every day this week, and I'm forcing myself to do it, and it's been good. Rock your handwriting's always good. I love that. Always love rock your handwriting. That I should participate in, Tessa. I could do rock your handwriting. That's the thing is you don't have to be arty. You know, let's do, you know, you can do rock your handwriting and it could be your handwriting could be crap, but you're it's yours, so you rock it. Like that's my argument for handwriting, right? Your handwriting doesn't have to be good. It just has to be yours and you have to own it. It's like this is my handwriting and I love it and like it's it's mine. I don't care if you can't read it. Like to me that's rocking your handwriting. Scogsy29, thanks for the great shows, Brad. Looking at getting my first gold nip pin and have a very low budget, so I was looking at the 3776 Bergon or the Pilot's Custom 74. I like big, smooth nibs, fine points. Any suggestions? Um, I got an email from... This is, this is a long way to answer your question. I got an email from a listener telling me... I, I'm, I'm not trying to do ads here but someone told me about a price on let's just call them pin shallot for 37.76 that it was as low a price as i've ever seen that would make me go with the 37.76 because of the price but i would also choose the 37.76 over the 74 price if you threw price out the window so i think if you're telling me those are your choices i'm going to take the 37.76 for the nib so oh i think they're pretty smooth like for what they are if they're fine i mean like i think my fine nibs are smooth there's a difference in that type of smooth than pelican medium type of smooth right i don't think it means that those fine pens can't be smooth does that make sense I just think it's a little bit more relative. Right? There's glassy and glossy and smooth. Like the Pelican is feedbacky and the Custom 74 is not. But I'd say both of them are reasonably smooth for what they are. Like, am I getting a good consistent line with those? Yeah. I mean, is it, am I writing on a round tip? You know, like if you're not writing with like a Pelican medium, you can still have a smooth pen in, in my opinion. Now there's some that are definitely kind of scratchy, like, like scritchy, <laughs> scritchy scratchy. And I would, yeah, sure, those are not smooth. But you should know what you're getting into when you do that. But yeah, long answer to a short question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the 3776. What about the 5000A as an entry-level gold nib pen? I don't know what that is. Pelican is not good for small handwriting, though. I agree. Even my Pelican EFs are not great for my handwriting. I do like them, though. Thank you. 
elongated muskox. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. We're just chilling today. Not too much going on. Oh, no. I don't have a zip code for that one. I'm going to have to look that one up. The Pelican Broad is deep undercover as a medium. <clears throat> What's the 5000A? Why don't I know what a 5000A is? I like it when my pen feels like a nice pencil. Yeah, I'm kind of like that too, Foolish Fox. What happened to the cheerleaders? I have to fix the, the GIF is broken somehow. I don't know. Like all the alerts and stuff are working. It's in the file. Nothing's changed. But they're not popping up, so I gotta get that fixed. That's on my long list of not of things I haven't been taking care of. Five thousand A. Okay, so it's that one. Yeah, I don't know. I've used. Um, do the um. Do the art nibs. Mid key. Thanks for the six month sub, and that's where the cheerleaders come up, and we need them back. Yeah, it's the Mackie model. So yes, that is a good pen, um, Gumbo Man Pad. I didn't realize that was the base pen because I have one of the Mackie ones, um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So what's the price on the five thousand? Oh, so they don't make them anymore. It got mad because he didn't call it a GIF. I'm not going to go completely to the mat on the GIF or GIF. I generally say GIF. I'm looking for a fountain pen ink that patches, matches Pigma Micron Blue suggestions. Um, that's a lighter blue for sure. Um, a little bit more royal. Maybe like the, the, like the Pelican uh, Royal. What do they call it? The Pelican Royal Blue. yeah so what i do when i people ask like to match i send them to mountain of ink click on the color and then look at that range and you'll be able to come up with like the closest even color swatch like on your piece of paper and kind of put it up to the swatches she has up and that's a good way to match them up but you're probably going to look at like some of the royal blues i think is more on that pigma micron blue because that's a little bit lighter blue than normal Schmevelin, gifting the subs. Thank you so much. You're awesome. I hope your elbow's okay. Good grief. I apologize for what I've been begun. I, I'm not too worried. Like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, like plant a stake in the ground on the the gif or jif. I just I say gif. I've always said gif. Um, I'll probably never say jif, but I'm not totally against it. Marari, good morning. Jiffy Lube. See, like, this is a good fight. This is like it's Pilot G2 level fights. <clears throat> Alright, we're not going to go too crazy long today because my wife just left and Tyler's still at school, so. Or still schooling from home, so I'm going to have to go help him in a few. We'll do a few more. Then I'm going to have to jump. Because I got a bunch to do this afternoon. Pilot G2, a.k.a. the greatest pin ever, don't, no contest, don't even at me. Oof. Oof. That'd be rough. All right, I have three coins left out, so we're going to do three more. Then I'm going to have to jump. And then hopefully next week we'll get some, uh, we'll get some products to talk about. 
Like Jin, but with an F. <laughs> what are we even talking about? Uh, Arctober. I'm just looking at uh, pilots. Pilots doing Arctober. I'm seeing very little Inktober action. Brad, your opinion on the best 888 compatible refill for everyday use. Uh, what is the 888 fit? Isn't that Parker? Is the Parker 888 style or is that different like the ceramic rollers? I have to look at a picture. Pronunciation variation depends on what other G word you think of when modeling the word. That makes a ton of sense. Which is how I probably came up with it and how probably a lot of people came up with it. So the 888 is the ceramic roller. And I haven't used a bunch of the refills for that. Do the Pilot G2s fit the 888's model? like the G2 juice. It is never pop, it's always soda. That I will go to the mat on. Like I feel bad for y'all that have to call it pop. Yeah, I don't know offhand on the 888 if the G2s fit it. That's where I would go, right to the G2 Pilot Juice um, style. But I, I can't recall right off the top of my head if that works. I'll have to try it. Soft drink sodas, yeah, never pop. Yeah, like I'm fine with the they're all Cokes thing too, obviously, but it's definitely sodas. Sodas are soft drinks. Pop all the way, Tessa. I thought I liked you. Now we're just going to have to fight. So we've talked about dips. We've talked about sodas. We've talked about gifs and gifs. This has been a great stream today. <laughs> we haven't talked about pens or anything like that. That's my fault. I didn't come prepared today. We'll come prepared more next week. Oh, and I think I've, I'm not too far away from it. But I'm going to start doing some gaming streams maybe on the weekend or something and I've settled on probably No Man's Sky or maybe World of Warcraft because I've picked that back up but I think No Man's Sky is a fun streaming game I'd love to play Sea of Thieves but I need someone to play with I grew up in the Seattle area it's pop is it really pop in Seattle I didn't realize that client was testy enough to need my boss yeah nice Pawn them off. Say, would you like to speak to my manager? Yes, yes, I would. Ooh, what do you play on WoW? So I've always played a warlock. Um, so I'm just trying to. Right now, I'm just messing around. I just picked it up a few weeks ago after years off. Like I think like six years off. Like when I was looking at the uh, some of the logs in like the bank, you can check out like the guild logs. I think it's been like six years, five six years. So I've always played warlock. Um, but I have a few other characters I'm just messing around with until I'm going to play the next expansion when it comes out. So I'm right now I'm just kind of screwing around. Um, 
so yeah i'm a gnome uh alliance i play alliance so i've um played a demon lock now i'm playing affliction lock because apparently that's the good one i have a fury warrior um those are probably the two main characters that i play yeah alliance <laughs> no one likes the alliance <laughs> I started Alliance because way back in vanilla, that's what my coworkers did. They told me that I had to be a gnome warlock because they didn't have one. So I've just always played Alliance characters since then. Peer pressure. So I might start streaming some Warcraft on the weekends, especially when the new expansion comes out. I'm not doing too much right now. I'm just trying to get all my, my muscle memory back. <clears throat> trying to get my uh spell rotation sound all that stuff down <clears throat> Hey, Slumberland Studio, thanks for joining. Um, pretty chill stream today. Didn't really have any much many topics to, to, co to cover. Um, usually I'll have a couple of topics we'll go through or do some unboxings, talk about some specific stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely definitely hang out. You know, Tuesdays, Thursdays, 10 a.m. is when I'm usually on. And, um, you know, we'll keep... Uh, We'll keep going with that. So yeah, Nib Section Podcast is back. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. I saw it updated in my stream this morning in my uh, in my uh, feeds list this morning. So yes, that is good. Sounds like I go watch your stream for some PvP intel. Absolutely. I haven't P I haven't gone back into trying PvP. I'm just trying to um um get my my button smashing down. Like I'm nef I'm definitely out of out of practice. Xerox had a whole ad, ad campaign about how it wasn't generic. That's pretty funny. Velcro, what did Velcro did a um did a whole thing on uh, Velcro a couple years ago? It was fantastic. Now let's talk about the the standard times versus the daylight times. No. <laughs> Thermos is generic. Yeah, I get that. Recorded. Oh, Rebus, you did a stationary orbit with John. Cool. I'll look for that one. <laughs> Found Anna's compatibility chart. I'm not seeing the G2 listed for the 8088. Next best. That's a very specialized refill size. I. The only thing I could tell you is see if Monteverde does a ceramic roller compatible. That would be my only guess for an alternate. Oh, Slumberland, yeah, that steampunk book is awesome. It's very amazing. <clears throat> you were a hardcore raider back in the days of Burning Crusade. Yeah, so I played very from vanilla. We did raids. We only did Molten Core up to Blackwing Lair. And that was when I was in IT and like everyone in IT played Warcraft, right? That was what, fifteen years ago. So um and then I've only dabbled and then i've missed like the last few last few upgrades like literally it's been six years when i looked through so oh van demon's inks yeah so i have some coming uh, i'm gonna test them out so yeah i'll check out jesse's jesse's review what's up okay. are you on break we got we have a tyler visitor here oh yeah yeah are you on are you on break break lunch break yeah, in between class from right now from right now until when 12:30 that's not a lunch you don't have an hour and a half lunch break yeah i do have that so what's going on see this is why i got to leave cuz finish my work early yeah, finished his work early if you were in class would you have finished your work early yeah like at school then what would you do actually no because we want to be editing later mhm mm Yeah, we'll see how much of a time commitment it is. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'll probably pay up for like six months, and then 
we'll see what it's going. See how much uh, how much of a time sink it is. But nothing on like the PlayStation's getting me right now. Destiny's in a boring state. Um, there's no other games I love to play other than No Man's Sky is pretty cool. So I might have to just get back into No Man's Sky or Warcraft or kind of my uh, my thing. Yeah, Tyler is definitely suspect. Life, I don't know. Your existence. <clears throat> no, Slumberland Studio, that is something you should email them about. That shouldn't happen. At all. All right, we need to mark these complete. Ah. Whoa. What? I said I want a computer. You want a computer? Hmm, mm, interesting. All right. This one, check. Check. All right. Oh, I think I did that one. <clears throat> you should stream Among Us. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Tyler says yes. Tyler wants me to stream uh, Fall Guys too. No, I don't. No, you I don't. Want you to play. Oh, you just want me to play Fall Guys? Will you come say hi to chat, please? So you're not just like a, a ghostless head. Because I'm getting ready to get off, so I gotta go make sure you're actually doing your work. I did. Mm -hmm. Actually, I want to change All right, come say hi. Then I'm gonna go. Hi. Tyler says hi. <clears throat> a ghostless head yeah i don't know if that me meant anything i'm not sure all right tyler does need more math he needs a math tutor I have oh yeah i know but you can't have it now because you're uh oh before you go read what i said that was funny zoom chat but this here what did you say oh ever got into trouble looking up naked girls on a school computer nice oh. on zoom yeah i totally missed that <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm not looking forward to that moment, so. All right, I'm not looking forward to getting off this stream, but I have to. I have real world stuff. Don't, hey, 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 that's Jackie's sticker. Tyler's over here taking apart your sticker, Jackie. I'm not. Don't touch the sticker. So this is what I have to deal with, sticker thieves. Um, so I'm going to go take care of him. I'm going to take him out, out behind the woodshed. Just don't pull on that. All right. Bye. Talk to y'all later.